Hey guys, Smooth Comics here. Today I want to talk about generational appeal and being able to appeal to multiple different generations of people at once. Let's start for original properties. For original properties, uh, you want to, like, if you're making like a superhero thing, you obviously want to get the kids involved because kids are going to love it. They're going to want, they're going to look to their parents and say, hey, mom, I want to buy all these toys. And obviously that has to come first. But you gotta look at the adults watching the property. You don't wanna waste their time. So you wanna gain the respect of the adults. Not to mention there's a lot of adults who do like cartoons and they don't wanna be looked down upon by other adults for doing so. So you want something that can get the kids on board but the adults can also respect. And a good way of doing that is through generational appeal. Look at the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic show. When that show first came out, it gained an, an amazing adult male audience. You wondered why? Why did it gain such a big adult male audience? Because the show was good. It was just a good show. People respected it. People respected just how they liked the lessons learned in the show. There was good morals in the show. Characters were fun and entertaining. And for, and after a while, the bronies kind of gained somewhat respect from everybody else because people just, they just started to like the show. And now look at other shows like mm, Spider-Man. Remember watching Spectacular Spider-Man on Saturday morning? It wasn't Disney XD, it was, I think, Fox. Now... That show was clearly made for kids, but it appealed a lot to adults. And then, now looking back at the show as an adult, you can still see why so many people liked it. And now it's pretty easy to tell why so many adults like that show because it, well, there's a lot of adults who like Spider-Man because Spider-Man has generational appeal. It's not just something that is clearly built for kids. Oh yes, kids are the primary target audience. There's still plenty of things in there for adults. And we see show cartoons nowadays become more and more leaned toward adults. So, you want something that the kids are going to love, but you want to give these characters depth that the adults will stick on their cheek. In many of the Spider-Man comics, Spider-Man gets married to Mary Jane, and they show uh, the married life and balancing that out with the superhero. You'd think that, you know, a kid wouldn't be interested in it, but here's the thing, there's plenty of cool action in there for the kids. There's also plenty of depth and drama for the adults to watch and admire and relate to characters, and that's how you make generational appeal. Even shows like, uh, it's called Avatar Last Airbender. There's plenty of crazy action, plenty of comedy stuff in there for the kids, but there's lots of depth, there's dramatic bat stories that adults are gonna love and admire. And nowadays, we live in a time where trying to build generational appeal is looked down upon for some reason. Like, Godzilla... Godzilla x Kong New Empire was attacked by critics for whatever reason. And I do not understand that at all in the slightest. 
Why do I keep messing that up? Why do I keep messing that up? Try that again. For the opting time. Basically, kids want stuff they can like. Adults want things that they can respect and analyze. Now, this is... Uh, now, a bad example of generational appeal would be, I think, um, the Daredevil Netflix show. Now, I like the Daredevil Netflix show, but it does not do a good job with this. Probably. Kids like superheroes. And even if something is geared a little bit towards adults, you can still get kids to buy those toys. And I don't like how Daredevil didn't have his suit till near the end and didn't even move the suit again. People like seeing the suit. The suit is marketable. You're going to make money. Oh, but it looks kind of silly. It doesn't matter if it looks silly. There's money to be made there. Stop hating on money. Don't you want to make money? I don't understand that. Now, this is why this is why I like making the edits version because when, when you are making something shorter, makes it easier to write for. I don't get how the logic there works, but it just does for some reason. Just also respect the kids' intelligence. There are some things that only the adults will get, but there are some things that everybody's going to get regardless of age, regardless of gender. You want something that's marketable. Like Star Wars does this great. Star Wars is another example of generational appeal. There's a lot of adult Star Wars fans just as, just as much as there was adult kid fans because Star Wars has gone so downhill nowadays. Well, that's it for today. See you guys later. I kind of get distracted. I don't do these things scripted. That's why. Hey, tell me in the comments, in the comments, if you like the the shorts better than the actual long length videos. Tell me now. See you guys later. Like, subscribe.